Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to denib, cut and polish fresh paintwork on a black car without getting any swell marks. So, uh, this is a second video on this Mercedes-Benz GL320 CDI. Uh, the first video, I took you right the whole way through the preparation, masking, um, everything on how to get the car painted and I decided to split it up into two separate videos um, and this second one is how to polish so um, when you paint a car it's generally you're going to get one or two little bits of dust in it um, and this was no exception there was nothing major in it just a couple of bits of dust so um, a lot of the time uh, I don't end up polishing my own paintwork, so a lot of my videos don't include polishing. But um, this car was done the same day, so you've got to be extremely careful. And the boss decided it's probably safer just to get me to do it because I'm a little bit more experienced than some of the other guys. So um, I'm, I've decided because it's fresh paint, I'm using a, a bucket of water and 2000 grit and just a soft block. If, um, if the paint was uh, a little bit harder, if I'd left the car overnight, we could then use a tungsten block, which will shave the little piece of dust down, and we could also sand it dry with the, um, the Roops Bigfoot uh, small polish, uh, small sander, um, which you can get discs for. They're 76 mils wide, and you can use that. But for fresh paintwork, I think you're just better, better off doing it the old-fashioned way just with a bit of water and a bucket. It's gonna be a bit more forgiving, you're not gonna put such deep scratches in it as you will with dry. So we just go around um, denibbing every single spot. Once that's done, I skipped out the rest of the, um, the sanding. I've, I've edited it down just to stop the video from getting too long. And we've got the buff here, and we're then just getting a screwdriver or anything like that to, to clean out the bulk of the dust that's been left behind there. And then I've just applied some cutting compound onto the panels, onto the areas that I've uh, sanded back. And then I've left this in real time. A lot of the time when I do my prep work, I speed it up um, so you can still get an idea of what I'm doing, but to stop the video from getting too long. But for this video, I decided to leave it at a, a normal speed. So as you can see how long it actually takes to, to hang over one area. Um, to actually polish it up. So this is 2000 grit. If you went with 1500 grit, it would take even longer to polish up. But uh, you gotta be careful with some of the polishes and the cutters that you'll get the, um, the car outside in the sun and it may look polished up in, inside the workshop, but you can then take it outside in the sun and find that you've got um, a few of those sanding scratches that you've left behind so it's important that you go over each each part a couple of times and um, if you follow this method you should get the same results so um, you could also use this same method if you had a couple of scratches down the side of your car as long as it hasn't come come in too deep you can just give it a quick sand down uh, without going too far and without using too coarse of a sandpaper as long as you're using 2000 it should be pretty safe with one of those blocks that I used and a bit of uh, water and you then grab your buff um, and then you just polish it up give it a good polish up so if this is the first if this is one of the first videos of mine that you've seen um, you should check out some of my other videos it's mainly dedicated to automotive refinishing and spray painting and stuff like that so if you're interested in learning loads of uh, loads of stuff well then yeah, you're more than welcome to check out some of the rest of my vids. Give my channel a subscribe. There's a couple of links at the very end of this vid to a couple of my other uh, videos, a couple of my other popular videos. So check them out. Uh, there's a link to my Facebook page in the in the description box of all of my videos too. So I um I have a similar format in this video to the rest of my videos. I explain every step of the way why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm quite experienced in the trade. I've been doing it for 15 years, so um, I do my best to answer questions as well. So I'm just continuing on over this one door. It takes about probably about two or three minutes. So um, once that that's done, I I did continue on with the rest of the panels. I did cut them out just to um, 
just to uh, quick speed the video up. But next up, what I'm doing is using a fine final glaze polish. So Menzerna is the brand that we're using, and this buff that I've got here is not actually just a normal rotary buff. You'll um you'll see how it's coming up and down. It's actually an orbital buff, so it's a Roots Bigfoot, and they're absolutely great for black cars and stuff like that. Um, because a uh, rotary buff will actually, they're prone to leaving swirl marks in the, in the, the panels because they go around in circles, whereas this actually, the, it's got a random orbit on it. It goes around in circles while going up, down, left and right at the same time. It's similar to a orbital sander that, that we used um, for palm sanding before we uh, sand our panels down. So you won't be left with the the circles and the swirl marks left that, that it will be with a, a normal a normal buff. So um, these things are absolutely great. And there are actually pads. If you don't have one of these, you can actually just get your orbital sander and there are pads that you can put onto your orbital sander. But this thing seems to work it in a little bit better than those orbital sanders. It goes a bit faster and yeah, we've been getting some great results ever since we've had this thing. So next up, once you've uh, worked all of this uh, polish right through each panel for a good couple of minutes each panel, so you've got to work those uh, rotary scratches out. Next up, we're going to get a microfiber polishing cloth. They're not too expensive. Depends on where you go. You can go someplace and you'll pay a, a lot of money for these microfiber cloths. But if you shop around in Australia, I'd recommend going to Super Cheap Auto. If you go down there, you can get a pack of, I, I've got about... 20 of them for about uh, $15, so they're not too expensive. And use a nice brand new one for a black color. Um, maybe if you're using white or silver, you'd, you'd be able to get it, use an old one, but I like to use them. So you can see it's really taking that, um, taking that polish off really nice. And that's the final step. There's no need to do any hand glazes or hand waxes or anything like that. This Menzerna polish that I used um, gives it a nice glaze, so um, yeah, next up there's a quick look at this uh, car once it's finished off and um, I'll put a link here to the rest of the car being painted if you'd like to see the rest of the, um, the job being done, how we prepare and paint the car. Um, if you've already seen that, hang around, there's a couple of other links at the uh, very end and there's a couple of subscription, there's a subscription link too, so check that out, give us a subscribe. Thanks again for watching. This has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.